Okay, good morning, everyone. We'll call the meeting of the Health and Human Services Committee of December 1st to order. Um, we do not have a quorum of the committee, but you, um, you need me. We will um, I recognize uh, Member Pachowski as, a, as an uninvited but welcome guest. Uh, and uninvited we'll roll call, please. Is there a tornatory? Here. Member Renahan? Here. Member Desart? Here. Member DeCiani? Member Eckhoff? Here. Member Larson? Here. And we have a quorum. Uh, is there any public comment? No Mr. public Chairman, comment. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if we need to move to, to allow the members who are not here to, to participate remotely. I think we've been doing that enough. Uh, we did it at the last meeting. We haven't done it in the past, but uh, I will have no objection to a motion to have all of the uh, People who are not here um, be allowed to participate in the meeting. There's a motion by Member Larson, seconded by Member Eckhoff. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And motion carries. Chairman's report. Um, I will say the same thing I said a couple of weeks ago. I want to thank everyone. Uh, it's been a pleasure to chair this committee. Thank um, Member DeCiani for his role prior to mine, and thank Member Larson for his term as chairman um, for the six years when uh, I was on this before I remember DC and I became chairman. We're gonna miss you and uh, hope that you stay with all of us. And thank to all the members who have uh, done so much for so many people uh, on this committee. Um, moving on to approval of the minutes, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of November 17th, 2020. So moved, Art. A motion by member Desart, seconded by member Larson. Any additions, corrections, or deletions? Hearing none, seeing that roll call, please. Member Desart? Aye. Member DeCiani? Aye. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Chair Tornatore? Aye. And the minutes are approved. Moving on to community services, I'll entertain a motion to. Combine and approve item 6A, one and two. Uh, these are uh, the resolution for human services emergency solutions grant and IDHS supportive housing program grant. So, so moved. Any motion by member Larson, seconded by member Eckhoff. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Member Desart? Aye. Member DeCiani? Aye. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Chair Tornatore? Aye. And motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to combine and approve items three and four under community services as a recommendation for a contract purchase to provide ad advocacy services to victims of domestic violence and an amendment to resolution for the purchase of a low touch socially distanced queuing system. So moved to start. Second. Motion by member to start. I think it was a second by member Renahan. Any questions, comments? Hearing on seeing that roll call, please. Member Desart. Aye. Member DeCiani. Aye. Member Eckhoff. Aye. Member Larson. Aye. Member Renahan. Aye. Chair Tornatore. Aye. The motion carries. Moving on to item 6B, I'll entertain a motion to approve an action item for approval of community services use of credit accounts. I'll move. Second. Motion by member. Eckhoff seconded by Member Larson. Any questions, comments? Hearing none, seeing that roll call, please. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Member Desart? Aye. Member DeCiani? Aye. Chair Tornatore? Aye. And motion carries. We begin item 7A. I'll entertain a motion to approve HHSR 1421, a recommendation for approval of a third agreement modification with United Cerebral Palsy Segment of Greater Chicago. So move DeCiani. Second. Motion by Member DeCiani, seconded by Member Eckhoff. Any questions, comments? Hearing and seeing the roll call, please. Member DeCiani? Aye. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Member Desart? Aye. Chair Tornatore? Aye. And motion carries. I entertain a motion to approve item 7B, uh, action item recommendation for approval of a second modification to a community development block grant memorandum of understanding with DuPage County Community Services. So moved to start. Second. Motion by Member Desart, seconded by Member Larson. Roll call, please. Member Desart? 
Aye. Member DeCiani? Aye. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Chair Tony Torrey? Aye, and motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to combine and approve items A, A one, two, three, and four. These are all recommendations for approval of contract purchase order to one, meeting age Illinois for annual membership dues, two to Northwestern Medical Medicine Regional Medical Group for services, uh, number three to Clifton Larson Allen for Medicare and Medicaid cost reports, and four uh, to Washburn Machinery for laundry equipment repair services. So I'm with Second. Second to start. Motion by member DeCiani, seconded by member Larson. Any questions, comments? Roll call, please. Member DeCiani? Aye. Member Eckhoff? Aye. Member Larson? Aye. Member Renahan? Aye. Member Desart? Aye. Chair Tornatore? Aye. And the motion carries. I'll entertain a motion to combine and approve items 9A, B, and C. These are all authorizations for overnight travel for the revitalization program to Champaign, Illinois. So moved. Second. Motion by Member Eckhoff, second by Member Larson. Any questions, comments? Oh, okay. Member Chaplin. Yes, Member Chaplin. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Um, with these travels, um, with the COVID spiking, I'm wondering if they're canceled by any chance, would we be reimbursed for the funds? Anybody know? Just yeah, we curious. Would be, we would either be reimbursed or that, or the, we'd either be reimbursed or the, Training uh, would just be moved, and then okay. we'd, we'd have a credit moving forward. These are required. Oh. These are required yeah. um, training. <clears throat> so at some right. point, the, the, the assessors have to complete this training. I will say okay. currently that they are doing in-person training right now. So they they wow. um, they're doing very small classes, uh, distanced out. So they are doing uh, in-person training. Yeah. After we're done. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. I just wanted to wonder what these particular assessors did to deserve being sent to Champaign during COVID <laughs> in February. <laughs> Any other questions? There's a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Member Recca. Aye. Member Larson. Aye. Member Renahan. Aye. Member Desart. Aye. Member DeCiani. Aye. Chair Tornatore. Aye, and the motion carries. Uh, don't believe we have any residency waivers, do we? No. no. Okay, community services update, Mary? Yeah, I had two course. quick things. Um, on the on the credit accounts, I took the, uh, the way I approached this memo was I, I, I looked at uh, companies where we had actually filled out a credit application. We do, uh, I just in the interest of transparency, um, we do have an account that's uh, based in the credit union here at the county. Um, it was funded with general fund and we use that when we're doing um, purchases and this was all authorized through resolution. We use that account when we're doing purchases that can't wait to go through the, the process. So very often it's for rent assistance or utility assistance. Sometimes it's for a hotel that someone's currently staying at. It's for medication that they need quickly. We have a debit card that's attached to that account when the um, when that account is replenished, those expenses uh, uh, are approved through our full finance and audit procedure. So it's not really a credit account because it is a debit that's with with um, the credit union. But I thought it was important to make sure that the committee understands how that's used. Um, and then the other thing is we're just uh, you know wrapping up the coronavirus relief funds in December, so we're working feverishly with all of the agencies that we've provided funding to to make sure that they get their reports in, that their receipts in, um, and that uh, we don't have to take money back from anybody or don't or, or aren't able to provide the full amount of funding that we've um, uh, uh, committed to them. So. You're feverish, you really shouldn't be working. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? Diligently and rapidly. There you go. Any questions of Mary? Okay, thank you, Mary. Moving on to the Page Care Center update. Janelle? See yes, can else. you hear me okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, it's been a, a tough holiday and weekend here at the Care Center. Um, it starts with the lab, our two labs uh, being delayed and getting our results. They're supposed to get them to us within 48 hours, and when they don't, then they come. 72 hours and you find out somebody was positive, you think about the potential exposure to others for those multiple days. Um, we uh, um, have had since 
in the last seven months, we've had 59 residents and 71 staff members, so still relatively no, low numbers. However, we've been seeing an uptick since the county had an uptick here the last few weeks. Um, the majority of the units are on isolation um, because of a potential exposure. We do have point of care tests that we're using that we've gotten from HHS, Health and Human <coughs> Services, uh, government uh, issued tests. Those work if our, our residents and staff are symptomatic, otherwise mm -hmm. their uh, level of accuracy is, is lower. So we've been using those as well on both residents and staff when we're feeling like the delay in our primary labs and we have someone with symptoms. So that's been somewhat effective, but uh, I think the lab results have, have caused some additional challenges for us. We are expanding, we're in the process of expanding the COVID unit. Um, this weekend, when we had someone that was positive and every one of them had a roommate, which means we have to move two, um, then we have to find someone that's ready to move out. And we are keeping residents down in their, either under a PUI, under investigation, or in the COVID unit longer than um, the health department or CDC uh, is requiring us to, but uh, we're, we're just trying to be ultra conservative. So then we have to look at who we move out and this doing it at three o'clock in the morning. And, you know, it just, when, it, when you get the result and it's never during normal hours of the day, the team really has to stop, drop and figure this out. So um, we are expanding the unit just to, to ease that pressure. Uh, and FM is helping us with building some walls. Uh, so they've been a great asset for us. And the nursing team here continues to function at an extremely high level 24 seven. So um, we're, we're feeling it, but we're, we're working through it. Any questions? Any questions of Janelle? I'm from the start. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Janelle. I was just wondering, I read in the news that um, with the spike in COVID cases, tests are becoming, um, uh, they're not finding enough tests. We, we, we don't have enough tests to test everybody we should be testing and they're having to um, cut back on the testing. Are we finding that at the, at the care center or not? Do you have plenty of no, tests? We have plenty of tests. It's getting the results timely that are the challenge. Got it. thank you. Yes. Thank you. Member DCI. Um, Janelle, I heard, uh, unfortunately, that uh, we lost uh, Len the Fort on, on Thanksgiving. Is that, uh, yeah, so sad. What a, what a great man and yeah. a legendary uh, coach for DuPage County. He was right. a big baseball guy, coached international kids uh, for DuPage. And, uh, um, you know, Len the Fort is just a, a man will be missed. And he was so happy with the care that you gave him. Um, I can't thank you enough. He was my coach. So yes, I remember you telling me. Yeah, we've um, for a long time we only had two deaths related to COVID, um, and I think we've had one since then, and possibly one more. There, that just depends on how the, the physician would code that because there were other comorbidities. So that doesn't mean. I mean, we've had many people that have passed away um, during this time unrelated to COVID. Uh, I think you start to see a little bit of. Um, maybe more disheartened because they're not able to come out of the room, you know? So, so I think people are possibly, if they get ill, they're not fighting as hard. And, and so we try to work really uh, with social services and rec therapy, doing that one-on-one -on -one programming and, and starting like a support group for, for the residents to talk with residents. It's, it's gotta be, you know, imagine being in that small space for that period of time. And that's the other risk. We have residents that are confused that don't wear their masks, don't leave their mask on, don't stay in their room. Um, it, it becomes hard. We can't, we certainly would never confine. We can't restrict. We can only redirect um, the best we can. So it, it, I feel for them. And now that we've not been able to do outdoor visits. So, you know, it is, it is somewhat disheartening, but the team here is really going above and beyond, especially rec and social services. And one of my nurses um, actually was doing uh, videos with families over and above beyond others. And, and um, he actually uh, was uh, exposed to COVID in that way because you have the residents not wearing a mask when they're talking with their families. And he's trying to do this to really help the residents and the families. And he himself became exposed and then ended up in the hospital. And then his wife, I mean, he had a, a pretty tough journey and he just came back to work this last week. So um, you know, the team and the staff are really doing a phenomenal job in a really difficult situation. 
I thank you for your service, your, your team service. And, um, Any other questions of Janelle? Thank you, Janelle. You guys are doing a great job. You have our uh, our thoughts and, and prayers are with you and uh, keep the faith. Thank you. Keep thank, you. thank you. Um, any old business? Any new business? Hearing none, seeing none. I want to take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion by Member Larson, seconded by Member Eckbach. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call. Aye. Roll call. Yeah, we don't really. We're outside and staying here forever. Member Larson. Aye. Aye. Member Renahan. Aye. Member Dussard. Aye. Member Ducciani. Aye. Member Eckhoff. Aye. And Chair Tornatori. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.